Getting ash is the only way to get your chemistry station and the key to being able to stack more items. But gathering ash can be extremely difficult, so today I'm going to teach you the most efficient way to do it. Farming for ash is a lot like farming for oak, but walking in the swamp area reduces your speed by 50%. The one exception to this is if you are wearing rubber boots, but rubber boots are expensive, so I don't recommend using them. Rather, I recommend using tier 3 armor and SWAT boots because I assume you guys have a lot of extra armor. If you do not have lots of extra armor, then you are spending way too many resources on Bunker Alpha, so if that is the case, then I recommend checking out my playlist on Bunker Alpha. The swamp also has more difficult enemies than oak zones, so it is really important that if you're farming for ash, that is your main focus when coming to the swamp area. You can farm the swamp zones with almost any melee weapons, but I recommend using the machete just in case you aggro some swamp bloaters because they have quite a bit of health. Also, since you cannot sneak up on swamp bloaters, there is no point in bringing larger melee weapons like a saw blade mace. If you have a lot of gas but not a lot of energy, then I recommend walking your ATV to the red rock zone and then going back and forth between the yellow and red swamp zones, just getting the trees that you find near the edges. This will save you a ton of weapons and armor and will allow you to gather the most amount of ash in the shortest amount of time. However, if you want to save gas, then I recommend filling up your gas tank just enough for it to be operational and then driving to the red swamp zone. Once you run out of gas, you will have to run or walk the rest of the way and your way back, but luckily this won't cost you any gas. The reason I recommend the red zone is because it has twice as many ash trees as the the yellow zone. If you choose the latter option, then you will need four iron hatchets to clear the 30 trees of the red zone. But if you choose the former option, then I recommend bringing 10 iron hatchets so that you can do both of the zones twice, resulting in cutting down 90 ash trees and bringing home 180 ash logs. I know a lot of you probably won't choose the latter option because it takes a lot more gas, but in my opinion, it is for this very reason that we've been farming gas in the first place. Now, I've heard that some players are recommended using the trick that I taught you guys two years ago where you split items until your inventory is full so that you can put your character on auto and farm all of the trees. But I would not recommend doing that in this case because not only will that attract more enemies, but it will also cause you to get too close to sulfur deposits, which will damage you using their poisonous gas. Once you get home, you can start the very long process of refining your ash logs into planks. It takes 40 minutes to turn five ash logs into one plank. So since you you can only place 20 at a time, you need to refill your workbench every 2 hours and 40 minutes. After repeating this process 10 times, you will finally be able to upgrade one of your racks one time to level 2, which does allow you to stack items up to 25. Unfortunately, you cannot keep those stacks of 25 when you bring them back into your inventory, but it does allow you to carry 25% more stuff in those racks. But before you upgrade any racks, the most important thing for you to do with your ash is to build the chemistry station because the chemistry station allows you to craft acid, gunpowder, and anti-radiation pill. All of these are important, but the most important of these is acid because it is used to unlock ore crates. If you want to know more about the most efficient way to get ore crates, then you should check out the other video that I did with ZD on his channel called The Efficacious Way to Get Ore. You will notice in this video that all of the footage is provided by ZD while I'm providing the voice. We did both of these videos together in the exact same way, so you should go check them out. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. Sorry I haven't posted in Last Day on Earth for a while. I haven't had the time to grind or pay for an ATV, so that's killed a lot of my motivation. But I have the next month off of work, so hopefully I can get that ATV soon. And when I do, I still plan to remake some of my most popular videos for you guys. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.